this. It's from X-Men the Animated Series. Mm. It's Wolverine looking at a picture of Jean. Uh, she, did she die or like? No, she's bone and Cyclops. Uh, kind of that? nerd dick. Oh, I think I know where I gotta go. And it's not here. I think I fucked up. Cyclops. Metal here. I think there was a room where I just had to kill all the... Otacon. In the room to open the door, and I just didn't do that because I'm an asshole. Dun, 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 That's okay. Dun, 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 dun. We'll, we'll, we're here. We'll explore here for now. I Imagine our, our Twitch stream had like a sports segment, and we like used the toke of green music, and we're just like, yeah. So like the fucking New York Mets pitching is pretty solid. <laughs> How do you feel, Sean? About what? New York Mets? Yeah. The, I feel pretty good, man. The, the nine Mets, your favorite baseball squadron. Oh fuck yeah, dude! I love the, I like I like the Mets very much in the baseball. I'm gonna try to go one of their last season games because uh, Cock, this is I not took the way. I took off for work this Sunday thinking there was a Mets game, which there was, but it's in Cincinnati. I just assumed it was a home game. But I think this next weekend coming up is the last three home games of the season. Gets the Nationals, and it's one of their best seasons in my lifetime, and I didn't go once this year, so. I did watch and listen to a lot of games on the radio and TV. Which counts? Oh, man. I was very invested this season. And I did fantasy baseball. And I didn't make the playoffs. The noodle slappers. <laughs> My first under 500 season. I was I was one game under... No. what? Oh, man. I was one game under 500. And I had the second highest scoring team. <laughs> so everyone had their best weeks ever against me. Yeah, I'm doing my first ever season of fantasy football. It's turning into a colossal failure. Oh, yeah. You know, it's it's all luck and... Like Andrew Luck. It's all just like Andrew Luck. It's luck and, um... Yeah, I'll take a look at your team, like... And if I have any advice, I'll give it to you. Because I like, I like helping. I like helping. I don't know if I could help. Like, I'm honestly not doing great in one of my leagues either. <laughs> so, like... D squad, I'm doing okay, but... I, I see the appeal of fantasy football. Because, generally speaking, that's not my speed... It's like an RPG, it, uh, and the less, well, 10 teams is like a normal amount. The less teams you have, the better players you'll get. It's like more stacked. That's fun. That's actually real fun sometimes. The, the, the thing is like, I, it's like, I'm just not that guy. I'm not going to pay attention to it, and, and I'm going to, it's going to, I'm going to fall off and like not, you know, take it as seriously as necessary. Yeah. You know, it's just how I am. Like, you know. At least it's pretty easy to like set your lineups and like. Right, but football, because, because it's less frequent. Is yeah. I'm I'm seeing the appeal of it because you just basically, yeah you only have to remember like once in a week and then you're good. Mm -hmm. The thing is like you, I think it's one of those things where you get out of it as much as you put in, and I'm just not as obsessive a sports fan as I used to be. So I'm not like super familiar with second guy, second string guys on every team, and you know like I don't I don't have the the knowledge of like oh who's playing who this week oh that's a bad defensive matchup yeah. or, like I'm, I'm, I'm just, I just go by rankings they have like weekly rankings and they'll I'm, be like I'm more casual with sports now you know what I yeah. mean so I don't have like the mental part of it to kick ass at it but it's still fun I mean I'm enjoying it I'm enjoying it more than I thought I would which is saying something uh, I definitely have gotten stuck on this part yep I I think I know exactly what I have to do. I think there was there was a room that I, I think I just had to kill every guy uh, and the door would open. Oh, yeah, yeah, and I think it's the plant uh, boss. Uh, I know, I know where we are. All right, let me just get get, uh, get back there. Back in the New York group. I'm just checking the floor over here. I'm back. Oof. Back in the New York groove. Mm, the groove. McGroover. Did you see that movie? I did. I did see it. I watched it once. Um... It's it's silly that I I found it funny. I mean, how how high can you go, with MacGruber? I did. I would say it's, my, <laughs> it's got a, it's got a low ceiling. Well, yeah, but that's that's good about it. I don't mind it being that way. And um, the sex scene, both sex scenes are some of the funny. I've laughed. That was the hardest I laughed the whole entire fucking movie. It's just like um, he's having like these over dramatic sex scenes with like uh who, whatever her name is Maya Rudolph and uh who's very hot and um. Kristen Wiig, who's also pretty hot, and um, he's banging them to take these broken wings in like an 80s slow motion montage. <laughs> and then like while it's going on, and he's like he's like whenever he like takes his shirt off, it's like clearly not his chest, but he's like jacked and perfectly chiseled and shit. 
and then they're like banging and then like the song will stop and it's just audio of him having sex and he's just like <laughs> like making like these like really not masculine noises like <laughs> and like even the women are like oh 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 and then i'll go back to take these broken away <laughs> and there because there's one part where he bangs this girl his, his love interest and then he goes and visits his dead wife in the graveyard and she comes back in ghost form and then he bangs her as a ghost <laughs> right after banging his this other woman and then like some gravekeeper is walking by and catches him and you just see him like humping the air naked like huh, huh, huh. <laughs> it's just fucking so funny man Will Forte is so funny he, he he does awkward very well yeah I like him a lot and um Fred Armisen is that his name Bill Armisen no no well Fred Armisen is good that's not who I'm thinking of him. Bill Hader yeah. Bill Hader is so fucking funny. Man. Yeah, he's funny. He's a gem, man. He's an underrated SNL gem. Yeah, he doesn't he doesn't get the same kind of props, but he's funny. Mm. He has a great voice guy. He's like, what's his name? Uh, Dan Aykroyd was also a great voice guy. He was the original voice guy of SNL. You had your uh, Belushi, you had your Chevy Chase, you know, the front runner. You got the girls, you got the black guy. Um. <laughs> voice guy yeah and then everyone else everyone else right Gilda Radner gets the love oh yeah she's so pretty man Jane Curtin don't get no love but she's really funny yeah she's pretty they're all pretty at one point nobody mentions Jane Curtin but she's really funny yeah she's in Conan's man I know she's in Conan she's the original I'm saying and fucking Third Rock I love oh, Third Rock oh yeah she's in Third Rock I love that show. That show is funny. I just started watching it like at my uh, bandmates' apartment. And I feel like that show never gets mentioned. Like maybe a, a casual nod because it's uh, where Joseph Gordon-Levitt was started. Yeah, and uh, what's his name? Uh, John Lithgow. John Lithgow, but well, he was already well established by that. He's point. a great actor. He's and awesome in everything. People ever. always talk about like Dexter. I just did that again? Did you watch Dexter? Yes. I felt like in the end it kind of came out as like it turned into like a weird soap opera kind of thing but like people are always going to remember John Lithgow as the uh, bad guy in season four. Yeah. And that was like fucking acting brilliance. That was the high point. That was incredible. That, that made that, that show so watchable. That show was over when they killed Rita. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, spoiler. They killed Rita. Yeah, it's fucking whatever. <laughs> that show died a horrible death. Like, it just got terrible. I'm actually glad. That's the one time I'm, because I'm not, I'm not usually the type to abandon ship. Like if I'm in a show and I'm watching it, I'm probably gonna stay with it and watch it all the way to the end. Oh, I should see. Fuck. Um, but that show, I just fucking abandoned ship, and and I'm kind of glad I did because. Me too. Uh, there's, there's nothing here for me, right? Yeah. No, that was missiles. Okay, that was me. Um. I know, and I stopped watching the season when Julia Stiles was in it, and I, I, got, oh, man. I got a big thing for Julia Stiles, and and that wasn't enough. <laughs> I was like, well, well where's she been since then? Well, apparently she did a terrible job, so maybe, maybe, it, maybe it lowered her stock. Yeah, I do remember um, season three or whatever had um, what's that guy's name? Jimmy Smith. Oh, it was great. I uh, he it. was at Clemente's, and I, I made eye contact with him, and I was gonna tell him I liked him in Dexter until. My boss went up to him and pronounced his name wrong, and like I think he got kind of offended. What did he say? He was just like she called him Jimmy Smith, and he was just like, "Oh, it's Jimmy Smith." Like like he corre he like corrected her, and like I think she came off as someone who was pretending to know him, but really didn't know him. Because uh, I think she kind of that was kind of the case. I should I should have went up to him. I would have been like, "Yo, man, that rooftop scene in Dexter, it's sick." Or like, actually. You know what? Mike Williams busted his table, and he no, he waited him, and he like talked to him, and he said Mike said he was really nice. I forgot about that part of the story. So Mike talked to him. I didn't, and my boss was my boss. <laughs> Good times. He was cool. I was telling Rob D last night about there's a picture somewhere in this universe with me and Tiger Woods in it, where I'm like six, and he's like I'm like seven, and he's like. 21, 22, 21. He's pretty young. And I remember meeting it, and I remember the moment. Jesus. Jeez, man. I, you, I, you right? You right? It's got my, yeah, I got like, I like spaced out for a second. Genius, genius. 
I don't have the necessary thing to open this either. Cop. Man, take these broken wings. I might be lost. <laughs> I know I said it like a half an hour ago, but I don't know. Is this the way I was thinking of going? We'll find out in a second. Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Uh, but that's kind of half the fun here. It's like you can keep going and get lost and have a fucking conversation. Do -do 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 -do. All right, let's go here. This is the green thing that I don't, that I can't explode. Got to take these broken wings, Sonny. Sonny bunny, come here. Fuck. I don't know where I. I can see the room that I want to go to in my mind. I just don't remember where it is. All right, Sean. Do it. Tell me where to go. Oh, uh, no. I was about to look up the... For the sake of the stream. Okay, okay. I'll look it up in my mind because I, I know all this. I don't think, I don't, you know, for the sake of, for the sake of those watching at home or, or watching in the future on YouTube, all this stuff gets archived on YouTube. Yeah, we, we leave all our mistakes out, so... Yeah, my Fuck you guys who hire editors. If bitches. <laughs> I'm just kidding. If you're uh, if you're trying to find my channel, you can it'll if you just search Danny Axel, <sighs> it'll come up. But I think the short link is Danny Axel Sunday. Wow, which again is pretty terrible that I <sighs> have to say. I think I just burped up onion ring and it like burned my throat. Ah, onion rings. Yeah, we had a big lunch before the stream. Oh, so good. It really was. I w it was so tasty that it, oh, I think this is where I want to go right here. That it put me in like a really mellow, mellow vibe. I'm like, I'm just like real chill. Oh, uh, so wait, good. where are you in the map, by the way? <clears throat> Can you check that real quick? I'm here. Is it uh, Brinstar? Yeah, I'm in Brinstar. To get the map recharger, go down into the first I got that. door on the left. I just got the charge shot. That's the last thing I picked up. Go left until you reach what appears to be a dead end. Roll in the ball, get bomb, go through the blue door, get the map recharger. Go back out into shaft. The second door on the left is a saber. Top pink door on the right has a set of missiles. Yeah, this is where I wanted to go. Okay, I think I'm good. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, I think I just have to kill everyone in this room before I can pr proceed. Yeah, because this is where the... Yeah, it's like, this is the flower. go through the one on the right, keep going right until you reach a blue door. You'll need to bomb through a thick wall to get it. Go right and fall down to the bomb where you'll get some missiles, bomb the obvious bomb. Yeah, there's like a save point before. Yeah, this is it. Uh, I'm an asshole. I was actually here. I just didn't kill everyone in the room first. Uh, should I go back and save? I am gonna fight a boss. I remember this boss being ridiculously easy. I think you'll be all right. Uh, Unless gonna, you wanna go and see it. Uh, I'm gonna do it. Do it for the stream, dog. You know what? 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 We have the power of emulator. Uh, I know what you mean. Why? Why? Why waste time? I'm gonna, when I, I'm gonna smack Sonny's butt. When I can just do that, and if I should booty. die, I can just reload it. Bam. Get that booty, Sonny. And if you frown on this sort of thing, well, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> that was very Steve of you. If you don't like it, then uh, go fuck yourself. Eat a bag of dirty AIDS balls or whatever. What, what would Steve say? Suck my fucking twat. Nah, he'd be like, suck a moose twat and go fuck yourself. <laughs> Jump off a cliff. Because no one cares. <laughs> right. Definitely end it with, with us because no one cares. No one cares what you love. This is cool music. Right, wait, there was like, there's like a really cheap exploit to this fight, if I remember correctly. You gotta bomb the inside of his vagina. And also don't forget you can do the ball thing, too. Yeah, but uh. There's like a really easy... Oh, fucking man. Fucking man. There's like a super easy exploit to this fight, and I don't remember exactly what it is. Careful, dude. I'm taking a beating. No, I'm fine. You're making me nervous, dude. I don't know, we're fine. Got the missiles at the wazoo, bro. There you go. There you go. Field palm sandwich. Fuck, I'm not ready. Danny's having a great battle right now with this eye thing in there. 
Yeah, kill it, dude. Oh. Alright, I gotta try to be your.